I found the Breast Cancer Research Center when I was finished with my radiations. Uh, I was invited to be part of a, of a seminar with uh, 11 Spanish women that we were having uh, breast cancer at the same time. And it was great because when they told me they have breast cancer, uh, I have a lot of questions because in my family, we don't have cancer. I was the first woman that had breast cancer and no cancer at all. So I was confused, I was scared, I was crying. And when they invite me, the Breast Cancer Center Resources sent me, uh, invite me to uh, be part of this group. It was amazing because we were 11 Hispanic women from different backgrounds, from different beliefs that we have only one thing in common and it was breast cancer. And it was amazing because there were so many questions that I have in that time. And they, I had the answer when I was there. And it was amazing. It really helped me to understand breast cancer. And it was great because when we were taking that seminary, we were 11 women there. We feel like sisters. And then we were sharing our story about breast cancer, but at the same time we were laughing, we were crying, and we were just human, like feeling love, and it was great. I think it's, it's the best thing that happened to me there when I was there. So I'm grateful for the Breast Cancer Resource Center. Well, I, I will say the, the best thing that a person or a woman who was diagnosed with breast cancer is to have a positive attitude about everything. You know, it's right to feel scared, but there is a lot of help. And then, um, in my experience, I had two choices. Sit in a corner and cry all the time because I was sick, or decide what I wanna do. And I said, okay, you have to find the best way to live your life. Because I understood that my life is already chosen by God. And I said, God, you need to help me. And one of the things I remember is, if there is the cancer that you are going to take me to the pres your present, I accept it. But if not, give me the power to fight this cancer. And I was, I will say my faith helped me a lot. Family is, is, it's good to feel free because we are human, you know. It's like, we can feel like we are gonna die. But at the same time, you have to decide how you wanna die. I will fight until the last moment. And that's what I did. I think if, if there is a woman, I know it's, it's can be, it can be a scare, but uh, we have to decide how we are gonna live the last day. And I decided because I was taking a shot every month for 17 months and I decided no way because I was feeling so sick and I said, I have to stop, stop this and I have to look for another option. And now I feel much better. I running, I eating healthy. Uh, I can choose how, what sickness is coming to my life, but I can choose how I'm gonna live. And that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I do. Try, it means to me life, life. The living for me, it really means how I'm gonna face my day. Every morning I wake up, the first thing I said, thank you God, because you gave me another day. I will enjoy everything that you have for me. And I, really enjoy and read everything. Because when I was sick I, sick, I saw there were things they didn't put attention. The flowers, the beers, the family, you know, and I, that's what I do now. I take the time for the people when they call me, for my sister, for church. I enjoy every moment. That's what it means for me to try. I have to enjoy what I have. I don't have time to think about tomorrow because I'm not sure about tomorrow. 
but I ain't sure about today. And that's what it means for me.